Hi, it's Teresa here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wear your Diva Drape. Now, I'll be using this lovely aqua one in plain mesh because the, the color goes with my top. But firstly, I'm going to show you how to snip off the label. Now, you'll probably notice it's stitched in a, such a way that um, it's easy to snip off with min while minimizing the risk of accidentally cutting into the fabric. Okay, so let's get started because no matter which way you wear this style, the label gets in the way, no matter how it's um, stitched. Okay, so we're going to snip it as close to the fabric as we can. Okay, one and two. Now we're not going to throw the label out because it contains really important care instructions. So I advise you to read this even before you start wearing it. Okay, now it also comes with these uh, printed instructions so please do have a read but in this video I'll show you a few fabulous ways to wear it okay so the basic way to wear it is as a poncho so we're just going to throw it on over our head now one word of advice um, the fabrics I get are usually the same on both sides so how do you know without a label on it how do you know which side's right and wrong okay simple look for the studs okay so the studs will always be showing on the outside so here we go the basic way is as a poncho pull the necklace out so straight across we've thrown it on and there we go now with with the steva drape always wear something fitted underneath now it doesn't matter how many lumps and bumps you have or what shape and size you are you're not going to take it off so no one's going to see what what's happening underneath so that's the good thing about that okay so we can go asymmetrical with it like that and this gives a nice diagonal line okay so you can let it go free flowing or I like this one myself because it's handy to put on when you just don't feel like dressing up and uh, get you out the door pretty quickly. So I'm getting the back and the front and I'm tying it into a double knot, okay? Now you can um, swing it as an asymmetrical or you can go sideways with it. You can actually grab the other two ends, one back, one front, tie a knot double knot. Now make sure that these are roughly even, okay? So that shortens it. Now this is a really good layering piece and it's good if you don't want it longer. Okay, so that's that one. Now we can wear it as a kaftan. So simply turn it around, half a rotation like that. So it ends up being a V-neck at the front and back. Okay, so here we have our cap then. Now, so it doesn't um, open up in case it's a breezy day, you can secure it with a small knot. So we get the middle of it, find the middle just roughly, grab each side and tie a tiny knot. That's quite easy to do. Oops. There we go. Okay, so if we've got one knot on each side, it just secures it. Now the good thing about this garment is it doesn't have any seams, which makes it really good and flattering of women of all ages, shapes and sizes. Okay, so that's the caftan. Now I am going to show you a belted style. So how to wear it as a tunic. Now, before you scream in horror saying, I don't wear belts, I urge you to try it. You know why? Even though you might not have a waistline, this can actually give you the illusion that you do have one. Let me show you. So, put your belt on. So, I've just got this plain uh, stretchy belt here. Put your belt on first. Okay, okay, here. It's on. Now, get the front and tuck it under the belt. There's actually a few ways to wear it belted, so I'll show them to you. 
Okay, look in the mirror. I've actually got a mirror behind the camera so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so, so straighten it out. So here is the first belted waist. So um, it's like a little tunic. And if you want to wear it in winter, you just wear long sleeves, just like on this mannequin here. Just something fitted with plain long sleeves. Now, here's my favorite way to wear this. And this gives the illusion of a waistline. I'm taking half of the diva drape out, to, just to mid position, and allowing it to fall over the belt. And you can go asymmetrical with it, like this. So that gives a lovely flattering line. Oops, my belt has flipped off. That's great. Okay. I don't think I had it secure. Okay, here we go again. Let's try this again. Tuck the whole thing in and then pull half of it out. Okay, I'm not going asymmetrical with it. So what that does it gives this a really great funky tunic look. And this is really great uh, in winter time with tight leggings um, and boots and long sleeves. Put your necklace over it and it's a great little tunic look. Okay, now let's uh, show you a few holiday looks. So you're, you're on holiday and you're poolside. So let's uh, wear this as a sarong. Put it around your waist. So we're just keeping it together with the studs at the top. And we're going to just tie a knot. There we go. So here's our short sarong. Okay, now there's another way to wear a sarong and this is a fun way. We take the outside layer and hold it and take the inside layer let the other layers drop and tie a knot. Now tie it as high or as low as you want. If you want it lower, just position it lower and uh, tie the knot. If you want it higher, just tie it and it will stay wherever you tie it. So there we go and we've got this funky layered look going on. Okay, and then you can loosen it off, put it over your bust and you've got this little dress thing over, over your swimsuit. Okay, so scarf. Now I'll show you two ways to wear it as a scarf. The, the first one is just keep it all together and put it around your neck. So this is great on winter days and you've got your big um, black coat on or something. Put it on and you've got a, a lovely splash of color on a winter's day. Okay, now if you notice this scarf is actually a shorter scarf. It sort of comes to the top of my um, thighs there. So we can make it longer and it gives a nice flattering look. Here's how. I'm grabbing the outer corner, okay, this one here. Let, let it fall, twist it once or twice, and look what happens. It actually goes to my knees, okay? So this gives it a lovely elongated look for your body. Um, it also covers your top arms here, so you could wear it all year round. And if you're traveling, you just wear it on the plane or something as a scarf or a poncho. So really it takes no room in the suitcase. Now, last look, okay. This one is gonna be a bolero. So here's what we do. We are going to tie a little knot on each end. So just sandwich it together. One, so do it on all four ends, like this. So keep it all together. There, do one of these knots. Okay, so that's two. And this is great for evening, this look, this bolero. Uh, actually great in the office as well, I'll tell you in a sec. So three, and last one. All right, so just keeping it together and turning it around each other. So we've got this knot. Okay, so the first thing we do, we put it over our head and put your arms between the two knotted areas. Okay, so this gives us another look. We've got this lovely flowy top. It's not gonna open in the breeze. It really adds a splash of color. So it's a great little, like a poncho sort of 
kaftani look. Okay, now here's the tricky bit. We, actually it's not tricky, it's easy. We're gonna wear it as a bolero. I'm just going to take the front of it at the bottom hem and put it over my head. And there we go, we've got a bolero. So it gives you um, shoulder coverage and top arm coverage. So this is great when you're out in the evening and wearing a lovely evening dress with a lovely necklace. So you want that detail to be seen, okay? But you wanna cover your shoulders and arms. It might be cold or you just want might want that arm coverage. And, and a lot of people wear these in offices where even in the middle of summer when it's air conditioned and it's quite cold. So you can actually drop it a little bit Right, oops, too far. Because don't forget, you've got that neck split there. So you, you get that coverage sort of to the top of your hips. Now, if, if it's hot and you want less arm coverage, simply undo the top knot. Okay, there you go. So compare that to that. Okay, so that's it for the Diva Drape. There are many other ways and people are con continually sending me different ways that they're wearing them. So please feel free to drop me a line and um, show me how you're wearing yours. Now, the, the one more thing about the mesh, because it's plain, feel free to wear something printed underneath it, just like what I'm wearing. However, you can also wear it with something plain under it, right? As opposed to the silks where they're usually printed, you can really only wear it over something plain underneath, okay? So that makes the, the mesh even doubly versatile. Anyway, I hope you enjoy wearing your Diva Drape and um, talk to you later, bye.